Tell everybody wants to just know how you feel and, and how you think you're going to feel Sunday. Well, uh, going in the game feeling like this, I'll be all right. You know, it's the the, the day after of doing all that kind of stuff is what you what you're trying to avoid. But it's going to happen, and you're going to have to deal with it again. John, including playoffs, you've started 200. We'll have you already started 211 consecutive games, which is unheard of considering the position you play. What do you attribute your health to, mentally and physically? You know, the, I mean, a lot of luck. I haven't had any catastrophic injuries, you know. The, I've been down that road. I've been, you know, on the cusp of, you know, mentally not being able to deal with the pain in the past. But I've just kind of talked myself into being able to do it. I think that's the biggest thing, just going out and knowing you're going to force yourself into it and you know, just kind of blocking it out of your mind. Some say you're just too mean and nasty to come off a football field. Is that true? Could be part of it. I mean, but, you know, it's... It's one of those things, like I said, I've, not, I've never been injured to the point where I can't function. So it's just, uh, that's kind of it. And some people, you know, it, it weighs on their mind too much to actually let them go out and perform. Jamal said that uh, you, you had said to him a, a couple times that when the pain outweighs the money, that's when you stop. Is, is yeah. that a true assessment? Yeah, that's true. Hmm. You'll know when I get there, though. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty amazing, especially the way he plays. You know, he's not out there. Uh, Doing a uh, you know like a pillow fight, he's out there, he's out there getting after it. So uh, you know, he, he, you know, he's an amazing guy that way.